Hey guys, Dango Nerd here. Um, <laughs> just what am I nerding out about today? Uh, just a few things. Um, I want to test out my body worn camera. Uh, I got a few changes to my routine. My daily routine is going to change a little bit. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, the Air Force is. They've announced that they they want to um, have their civilian employees <laughs> meet the same physical fitness requirements as their Air Force uh, service members. But um, nothing's finalized yet. Um, they announced it a few weeks ago, and then our union is, <laughs> I think, trying to fight it because we got a bunch of old people <laughs> at work. Um, myself being one of them um so let's see i have my camera mounted here on the strap this is probably this is usually the way i would like carry it just slung over my right shoulder just from apartment to car and then from the car to to the classroom so but this is pretty easy and it's the mag the magnet really secures it well, so I don't know how well you can see it, but it fits in perfectly there. And so yeah, that's that.
I had to make a change because uh, <laughs> uh, this morning when I was trying to move the weapon from the 511 select carry back to my Hornady lockbox in the car, um, I didn't really think about it at the time, but I, I don't want to have to unholster it. I want to just keep it in the holster and I move it from different carry methods. And so, instead of having to mess around trying to untie that paracord, and then eventually had to tie it back up, I decided to put a clip on it. And I got the clip from <laughs> uh, my P320 holster. Um, I just use it for my airsoft, but it's the only thing I have right now. But I put it on there and then, um, Clip it to this. This is, you know, it's a little bit stretchy. That's kind of a problem, but it'll clip on there and then it's secure for a couple of draws. You know, like you only need it once, right? So it'll it'll stay on there. But if you keep keep drawing, then it's gonna eventually work its way loose. But um, just one time is fine, and then it stretches a little so you can get the muzzle back in and it goes in just like that and then zips up so it'll cover the red dot but sometimes it's a problem if you have to really pull it out but yeah it'll cover it and then hopefully I won't ever need to you know to just draw it but yeah and then when I carry it, I can just carry it this way. And it's pretty discreet, I think. And then just walk into my, to my apartment. If, God forbid, anything should happen, I have the weapon available. So I'm thinking this might be a, a good way to you know, I have to start exercising. I have to start jogging or something. So this might be a way to carry. I don't know, I haven't decided how I'm gonna do that. But um, so far this is okay. I don't think I could jog like this. Uh, maybe I have to strap it down as an actual fanny pack, but um, I'll get to that when I get home this weekend, <laughs> but. Well, that's all I got for you today. Uh, thanks for watching, and leave any comments and questions below. See you next time.